Hi, and welcome to Antlab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're playing The White, White Castle. Castle. Not to be confused with <laughs> The White Castle. <laughs> we really, burgers really wanted to eat fries. White Castle burgers while we played this yeah, game. I don't even know if there's, there's one in no existence. There's no relation whatsoever. No. Yeah. But that's what I think of. <laughs> so, in any case, uh, White Castle is a game that takes place in 1761 Japan, mm -hmm. where we are minor clans trying to get earn prestige mm -hmm. with the shogunate, I guess, or the, or the palace, That's right? right. Um, so we'll be doing all sorts of things, trying to move members of our households mm -hmm. out into all different areas um, around the palace, mm -hmm. in and around the palace. As you can see, here is the setup. Now, this is um, the successor to the Red Cathedral. Yes, from years ago. From years ago, which we covered as well, so yep. you can go check out that video if you like. Uh, but this is also in a smaller box with yes. lots of game. Similar, yeah, lots okay. of game in a small box, which you know we love. So. Yes, which we do. So um, we're going to take you through the setup really quick, and then we're going to just jump in and we'll start uh, explaining actions as we go. Mm -hmm. The turn structure is really simple, and this game only... You essentially get nine actions this game. Yeah, so. it's, it's going to be three rounds, and you get three dice placements per, per round. round, but... As a lot of these games are, you're going to trigger other things that are going to happen on your turn. So. Correct. So um, the setup for two players uh, is a little bit different, but not too much. So mm -hmm. we're obviously going to have um, less actions uh, and less spaces to occupy. But uh, with that, there are only three dice per color mm -hmm. in a two-player game. Uh, we're also not allowed to stack dice on top of each other's dice uh, in any location, which... Um, you'll understand that as we start right, taking yeah. actions. So just going around the board, we have a number of things. So you have the turn order track, which uh, you know, Francis, as always, is the first player. <laughs> we have the passage of time track, where um, we will be moving, uh, progressing forward to try to earn points, obviously, mm -hmm. end game. Uh, you'll see like this golden fan, that is end game points whenever you see that. Round tracker over here with this awesome looking koi yeah, fish right. piece. Mm -hmm. So again, we said three rounds, right? And then a victory point track around, uh, which are called clan points in mm -hmm. this game. Um, on the left, you've got your uh, your bridges. Mm -hmm. and, your, and your gardener areas. And your, and yeah. your, yes, your gardener uh, action area. So your sand porter bridges. Uh, in the center, you've got, uh, I think it's called the... It's a uh, palace. Yeah. Although it's called the... Can they have a palace? name for it, but there is a palace. It's a palace, yeah. right? So there is, a, is the palace in the center, which will be able to move our courtiers in there mm -hmm. and then progress up to the uh, the main i guess it's kind of like the throne room yeah uh, if you will what's well, like that's the the best spot obviously right. you've risen to the top and you're in there with the emperor uh and all that good stuff over here we have the well which we'll is get some resources mm -hmm. over here you have the gates so you can't get in the castle without first you know having your dudes go up to the gate yeah uh, and over on the right we have what's called outside the walls we're sort of like if you don't really have a, an appointment Right. You kind of wait outside the walls until you get <laughs> and, like, one. Like do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And these actions we'll be able to take most efficiently during our turns mm -hmm. by other means. But if you're in a position where you have to do one of those main three actions and you can't, that's where you want to go. That's where you go to do it, right? Um, down here, our player boards, I'll cover this real quick. These are um, Diamo tokens. Mm -hmm which you're allowed to hold up to five, and they can be traded in for resources or money uh, or to take actions on the board. Uh, so you'll see that's like an additional currency. You've got a resource track. we got rice, iron, and the mother of pearl. Mother of pearl. You're going to have your lantern bonuses, which you'll see in a bit, as well as three tracks where you can uh, take actions on your home board. Mm -hmm. And you've got your supply of your family members, which are your courtiers, your your uh, farmers, what are they called? They're called gardeners. Gardeners, <laughs> uh, which are farmers essentially. <laughs> and you've got your samurai down here, right? So, yeah. as we said, you're trying to get your guys out onto the board, and when they when they come off, they're going to reveal um, more uh, rewards that you'll get to take as you take those actions. And we're also going to have a card here that gives us bonus actions yeah. as well. All right. So for setup. We put out this um, these starting resource cards mm -hmm. and starting action cards. Yeah. And now we get to draft them in reverse player order. Yes. And I'm going to get a set of these. And I'm going to take this set of these. Oh, okay. All right. So this is going to be my starting resources and my starting action for my player board. Cool. And what are you starting with? I'm starting with, uh, see, two of any resource, $4 and two Dymo tokens. Okay, and I'm starting with two rice, one anvil or metal, 
uh, $2, a Dymo token, and I start with one of these as well. Is it the coin? What are you saying? The oh, coin. So that goes one of these cards, yes. and it's going to automatically go in Well, after you put that card in. Yeah. Oh, and it's a coin. Yes. Yep, so that one goes in yep. first. So this slots in right over here, like so. And now anytime I trigger that lantern action, I also get these resources. And then that'll slide right on top like that. Mm -hmm. Like a coin. All right, so I'm going to take, for my two resources, I'm going to take two rice. And basically, like, so that you're not wondering why we're taking yeah. what resources. Rice you pay to put your uh, gardeners out mm -hmm. on the garden, right? right? And that to activate these actions out here, yes. right, on the river. You pay iron mm -hmm. to get your samurais out onto the training grounds and you're basically bolstering sort of the the palace's guard right by, their army by giving mm -hmm. them your samurai right so yeah. you've got your, your samurai going into their army right yep. thematically yeah and then mother of pearl is used as i guess a prestige thing to get your courtesans up yeah up, in, up to the higher floors in the palace exactly and your your samurai are going to score you at the end of the game based on who you've got in the palace. Yeah, the number of court, yeah. courtiers you have. So there's in some the palace. relationship there. Yeah, so there's that's really what you're trying to get. So you're going to, mm -hmm. you know, by putting them in these places, you're going to earn the rewards, plus mm -hmm. there's some end game bonuses. Uh, yeah. As you can see, where anything there's this golden fan, that's where you're going to earn end game points. If there's yeah. a red fan, that's in game points. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's it for setup. So now we've got our. Our cards in place yep. and you're ready to take so all you do on your turn is uh, you take a die yeah, from either awful. the left or right <laughs> of the bridge mm -hmm. and then place it on any available action space yes that allows you to play it oh my goodness and we'll explain that more yes. as we go okay so go ahead. Take all your... right yeah I'll, I'll go ahead and take my first action this is so tough because you have such limited actions mm -hmm. um, to decide like where you even want to start with this so I, um, I have some food, so it'd be nice to go out there. Um, let me see if I can grab any more food out here. Or I could do some anvils. All right, so why don't, I, why don't I start here? So the way this works is that, like Anthony said, you're gonna pick a die. Now, you'll see that there are uh, die placement areas all over the board. And the way that it will work is if you take, um, if I take this die, for example, I take a, um, oh, I can't do that. Shoot. Um, well, okay. Like I could take the white one, right? So if I were to take this white die and place it here on the four, because it's greater than the requirement, which is a four, I actually get two coins in mm -hmm. addition to taking the action there. And uh, likewise, if I had placed a lower die, I would have to pay the difference in order to take the action. Um, the more I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, so you're going to get two coins yes. for so the difference. I'm going to get two coins for the difference of placing this die here. Um, had I taken the leftmost die on the bridge, I would have gotten to, to passively do my lantern yeah. ability. Every as well, time you but, take that die. Um, but I'm not going to do that. So I get I get to take now the um, the action that corresponds with the color of the die that I placed. So I placed a white die, I get to do this action here. Mm -hmm. and I will take uh, three resources and I'll take um, two anvils and I'll take one rice yep. as my and as that's, stiff. And and that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. Your, that's <laughs> one of your nine actions, basically. Yes, I know. So uh, lame. Right. So I feel now, like I'm failing already. Uh, and yeah, we're going to play already. until six dice are placed three each yeah. and there's only three left on the bridges so i'll take this orange one you know this one slides over mm -hmm. and i'm going to move this orange one here mm -hmm. it's a difference of three so i'm going to get three coins and i'm going to actually activate both of these orange die actions so i'm going to get yeah. in any order so i'm going to get a diamo token mm -hmm. plus one resource of my choice i'll take food and then down here i'll get one iron and one food yeah all right and that's it. Very good. Yeah, this actually goes here. Mm -hmm. um, all right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, uh, what do we have out there? Two. 
I'd like to do this maybe. Um, see, I just feel like I have like no strategy going into this. Um, so I'll place this here. Uh, so I'll have to pay one to do this. Mm -hmm. But you did take the far left. And I did take the far left, so I get this. So I actually get my dollar back, and I get a Mother of Pearl. And I pay a Dymo token to place one of my um, one of my dudes, courtiers. my courtiers here. So I pay, but how this works is you have to place them at the gate first. So I pay two. Um, ah, shoot, you know what? See, this is where I should have waited to do this. Uh, Cause you only have one mother of pearl. I only have one mother of pearl. Um, and I don't have any more Dymo tokens uh, to spend. You need two to trade in. I need to take stuff. this. I need to take that back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Fair not right. going to be able to do this. Here's your two coins back. Yeah. And only because I can take the action, but I can't make it most efficient. Drop so. your mother of pearl. Drop my mother of pearl. Because you didn't. If you're not going to take that die, you're not going to get the lantern action. Oh, I see what you mean. Right, yeah. so I'm just so, reversing so it completely so that it. we're completely back. Okay, mm -hmm. got you. That's uh, taking moves back in this game. Is yeah, it's bad like a big no -no. juju, do but it, yeah, since we're but, early still, yeah. we'll allow it. But and later it's, on, it's going to be like no bueno because there's, yeah. you've got to unwind way too many things because it's, it, so it's, much. it's moves, trigger moves, trigger moves. And if you're mm -hmm. not doing that, then you're actually not going to score any points. You're not, yeah. So a better move for me would be to take this die mm -hmm. um, or I could actually do this and pay one okay I'll have to get your mother of pearl to get my mother of pearl yeah and to get my dollar which I'm paying a dollar so and you'll then get, I'll it get a dollar back I get to move up the passage of time track mm -hmm. and then I get two, two more mother, mother of pearl, pearl. That's not so bad. that's a better move for now I think so your turn hmm Mother of Pearl, <laughs> indeed. Mm-hmm. How to get more of that? How do I get me more of that? I don't know. Hmm, okay. So... I want to get my Dymo token back, because I paid for that. Oh, yeah, you did, yeah. didn't you? Um, I could use some Mother of Pearl myself, actually, but I'm just trying to find a better place mm -hmm. to... To get it? To get it, and I don't really see any places that are awarding it. You know what yeah. I mean? You can always spend your Dymo tokens, too. I spend two to it's get a, one, it's a but it's not a cheap. bad yeah. ratio. You can and come down here to the well. It's kind of a waste well. of a turn. I could... Oh, that's actually pretty good. The well action's not bad because you mm -hmm. only need a, a one there and as many dice can go here as possible. So mm -hmm. I could actually take this orange one mm -hmm. and put it here. Right. And I'm not going to get any money for that. Yeah. But I am going to get to trigger my lantern action, mm -hmm. which will then give me, um, now I can get the well action, which will get me another Dymo token, one coin, and a resource of my choice, which I'll take another Mother of Pearl. Cool. Okay. So you get one more action. Yes, for this round. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is rough. It is very rough. Um, but I'll go ahead and do what I was going to do before and do this. So okay. I can take my two, go here. Uh, that triggers my lantern action. Mm -hmm. So I pay to take the yeah, action, but, but then get I get it back. it back. You get a mother of pearl. Um, I get a mother of pearl for this. Mm -hmm. And then I can spend my Dymo token to now spend $2. Mm -hmm. And put my Cotia right there. Yep. And now I can also take the bonus action. So, or that's not really a bonus, but it's an alter, like another action. Yes. Spending two Mother of Pearl to now move this Cotia up um, a level. Or move any Cotia you have or at any the Or any Cotia you have it out there, yeah. So I'll do that. I'll spend two. Now you can spend five Mother of Pearl to move twice. Mm -hmm. Um it's the it's more expensive to do it that way mm -hmm. uh, so I would say don't do it unless you have to <laughs> um, but I'll go ahead and move once and I will move I'm thinking about it carefully because this card that I acquire is gonna end up whoops going here and replacing that guy um, so what do I think 
I think this one's pretty good. Get yeah, resources. It's, it's like a lot of, it's very resource heavy, that one. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, which is pretty good. This one with the mother of pearl is good too, but I'm already getting that. So we'll go here. Um, now this card comes off and I flip it over to the back side and this gets added to my lantern. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little legacy. And then this card comes off and now goes here. And now you'll see that that one symbol that we started with has been replaced by three separate scrolls that will be activated when we take those And you activate actions. one of the lighter rooms now. Yes, and I will take um, probably another Dymo token and then any resource. And I will take <clears throat> um, probably more food for now. Good. Okay, yeah, and then we replace this guy. Yep, so now a new card comes out. Yep. All right. Um, so that just leaves me with a final action here. And I will, I would like to get... So I want to get a guy out to one of yeah, my, my farms. Um, farmer guy. What's he called again? The gardener. The gardener. <laughs> the gardens. Uh, I need to get a gardener action, but the action looks like at the bridge over the river. Right. It so looks like this. I could take it here because it's the uh, mm -hmm. the black die action, which is probably best. Yeah. If I take this black die, place it here. I get one coin because it's a four, mm -hmm. uh, and I placed a five. Now I get to trigger that. Um, action here so this is the uh, gardener action i will take my gardener you see they're all different looking mm -hmm. and i can put them in any one of the garden spots as long as i pay the food cost this is a four food cost i will pay four food okay. all of my food to get him there and now i can take the associated action for three coins for three coins so i spend three coins and i get to take the palace actions mm -hmm. that's how you trigger these actions right. now so i'm going to take my courtier Put him here for two for two trade a five in for three and then if i have mother of pearl and i do i'll spend two mother of pearl mm -hmm. to move him up nice and take one of these guys and i will put him mm, i'll put him here okay so i'm gonna get this move that here take the action on it and i'll move up my metal twice Okay. One, two. We have a new one come out. All right. Very good. Yowza. Eek. Okay. So I think that's everything, right? Yeah, that's it. I'm just thinking about what I wanted, what I need to do. Yeah, next. so that <laughs> that's basically the end of the round. Yep. So if you take a look at the board. Mm -hmm. All right, so you see where we are on the board, mm -hmm. and we have... Uh, a couple things to do at end of round. So yep. first you check uh, whoever's ahead of the passage of time track is player one, which you yep. are. It stays. Um, and then we start to go down and see if any of the, um, the I guess, the gardeners right. trigger. Uh, trigger. Yeah. Because uh, the basic rule is, and this is why you want to get your uh, gardeners out on mm -hmm. the river, because every bridge that has a die on it yeah the gardener that's below that bridge uh -huh. so like my the only gardener out here is my dude right and i think i have a zoom here yep so my guy still has dice on his bridge it's not empty mm -hmm. in some cases the bridges do empty yeah if the black bridge was empty he wouldn't get to trigger but since it's not he gets to trigger right. and that'll happen uh it goes from top to bottom boom 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 so he gets to actually lets me get to do this again mm -hmm. and the problem is it's going to cost me... You know what? I'm going to do it. Okay. The problem is I'm very short on cash, but yeah. I do have Lush and Dymo tokens. So I'll spend three coins to take the castle action, which will okay. put out another dude, another courtesan. Did you pay five? What am I paying five for? You pay three. I paid three to do that, two. and now I'm going to pay two. So I'm going to trade this in for uh, one, for one. Okay. and I have one. So Got that's you. my okay. five. So I paid two for the gate cost. Mm -hmm and three to actually take the action nice. so okay. that's how those bridges work so if you have all your dudes out they're all just yeah they're triggering oh, 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 actions oh, 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 oh. at the end of the round too yeah, yeah. it's crazy yeah. okay cool. so that ends the round this goes to track number two yep we bring in all the dice now mm -hmm. from the board and we're going to re-roll them yeah 
and put them back out on the bridges. Sam Porter Bridges. Super now they go on the bridges best. from lowest to yeah. highest, left to right. Sorry about that. That's bad. Bad dice. Hey. Is it right. better? Uh, the blacks go on the no. black bridge. Yeah, <laughs> put them on the wrong Reds one. go on the red. That's a one. Mm -hmm. Okay, one five five. So there's our new setup for this round. Okay. You're still player one. Yeah. We're already in round two. Like there's yes, only three it. rounds, so it can get pretty messy. I'm gonna lay these guys down so that you can see. Oh yeah, who's where? Yeah. Just Let me lay these what guys type down of too. characters they okay. are. It's just a little easier that way. Yeah. You're looking from above. It's mm -hmm. just. Yeah, they're very similar, but not not too similar. But not too similar. Not too similar. <laughs> All right, cool. So I would I'd like to get some guys out over here. Mm -hmm. I have the rice for it, um, and I'd also like to get some guys out over here. I just don't have a ton of money. That's a problem. Hmm. Um, and I don't have enough like rice to like get guys out and then yeah. take an action to get guys out again. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I know. I'm um, in the same boat. You're in the same boat. You're in the same boat. I am in that boat. <laughs> On that river. I know. It's a bad river. <laughs> um, and I'd also like to get guys up here because that's how we're going to score our guys in here. Mm -hmm. Really, I'd just like to do everything if possible. <laughs> um, so tough. Okay, uh, here's what I'll do. I'm going to, I need to take an action that'll let me come up here. And that, so that's gonna be one of these, like that guy, mm -hmm. one of those guys. Um, I could do it with that. I could do it up here with a black die for cheaper, um, but it's not, I'm gonna have to pay for it, so that's, no, boy, no. I could come over here and get some money. So that's probably what I'll do. So I'll take a five mm -hmm. and come here, get two bucks. Okay. And then I will get two points. So those are those red fans are points for right now. Yep. And then I also can spend my Dymo token to train one of my samurai guys. Um, and I'll put them up here. So I'm gonna pay three metal for that, one, mm -hmm. two, three. And then the bonus for placing them out here, and that cost, by the way, is right down here. So you can pay one, three, or five, and then take the associated bonuses. This lets me take any red, um, light-colored red action. So one of these, you know, something like that. Um, and I may do, I could do this one to get me a Dymo in one thing, um, but my lantern action is actually pretty strong right now. So I think that's what I'll do. So I'll do this red action, um, which gets me one of the birds, but I have another bird here for my lantern, so you can give me two. And then I also get a dollar and a mother of pearl. And mm. that's my that's my action, my first action. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go I go here and I have to pay a coin but I'll pay a Dymo token for a coin mm -hmm. and take three resources so I'm going to take two metal and one pearl one mother of pearl is that it that's all I can do yeah yeah um hmm. if I could get another guy out that would be nice We also don't have, I don't have any Dymo tokens right now, which is, mm -hmm. no bueno. Um, we talked to, we talked about stacking dice before, so you can't do that two player game. Um, but in higher player counts, you can actually use these dice as actions um, to a height of two dice. Yeah, so, put yours on top. Like, yeah, Pay I, the you difference. put a three, there's a five, I could place a six and still get a dollar or something like that, which is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. But not in this game. Nope. <laughs> um, Okay, uh, that one's not bad. If I could get some more 
rice, maybe. All right. Oh, we don't have any good whites out there. That's rotten. Um, all right, I'll take this, put that there. And now I just get a rice. You do pay a coin for yeah, that. I will pay a coin, there you go. Yep. Get a rice and... Um, you get two rice. Oh, I get two? Oh yeah, because of that one? Yeah, you the opened printed it up. one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a Dymo token. Mm -hmm. Why did you give me this one? Oh, I gave the wrong one. Yeah. It's like, I'll take all that money. But... Yeah. <laughs> and then like one of any resource. Um, and I'm going to take one of these. Okay. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Five, six, okay. That's what I want to do there. How do I do the other one? <laughs> mm. Tricky. It is. It's very tricky. Um, because I know what I need to do. I could probably do that. I'm going to take this five and put it here. Get a coin for mm. that. And I'm going to take the gardener. Yeah. I like I'm going to trade in two of these for a food, mm -hmm. which I'm going to pay right back to set my gardener right out here for one food. Oh, okay. And that's going to give me two of any resource, which I'll take one mother of pearl and one food. Hmm. Yeah, those bridge actions are so hard to come by. Mm -hmm. I'm all set up to take one, <laughs> and I can't. All right, so what else can I do here? Maybe I'll put another guy out. Um, so I can, I could do this here, or I could go here. No, I can't, not with a white. Well, I could, I could go with the white one and take that. But I'd be better to take the five and just go here and get a metal, pay a dollar, and then pay one of my Dymo token to pay two. Mm. <laughs> so much payment going on here. To send my courtier out there and then pay two Mother of Pearl to send him up somewhere else. Like, where do I want to go? Um, it's on the back of this guy. A dollar? Oh, we can't occupy the same room, we can. can we? You just can't occupy the same space as one of your own guys. Right, well, yeah. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, don't just double check. I mean, I could always move him up too. That's probably not a bad idea. I'll move him here. And it doesn't this. even talk about occupation yeah it just says you can you're you can get to any room okay well i'm gonna put this here and do that did you take the white action and now i get to take the white action which is up that up that and then 
Get your Up that again. Mm -hmm. Two dollars and a mother of pearl. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Your turn. It's tough. It's so hard. Well, I just, I can't really afford what I want to do. I know. Yeah. Action wise. So uh -huh. it's like, I just need to. Because I got to pay the difference with the dice, but then I got to pay to do moves. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and you pulled the card I needed, so I can't even do the move I wanted. Oh, did I? Yeah. Sorry. I tend to do that. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I know, but I said you tend to do that, not that you mean to do that, um, which is tough. Yeah. Because it puts me in a very difficult position, unfortunately. Mm. So I'm just going to go get resources then because there's nothing much more I can do. Take that. That'll give me one coin plus a diamo plus another coin plus one of one resource of my choice and I'll take take food I guess yeah do that all right okay so that's the end of the round yes um, you still get player one mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go trigger bridges now so trigger bridges <laughs> trigger we're, bridges yeah we're trigger bridges now so this one activates mm -hmm. I'm gonna get two of any resource yep. I'll take uh, one food and one mother of pearl mm-hmm this one triggers as well. I pay three dollars, and I can do a courtesan movement, which I can actually spend two mother of pearl. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. To move one, because yes, you, you can, can either move or put one at the mm -hmm. gate. So, I think what I'll do is I'll I'm going to move him up to here, okay, and take three of any resource from that. Yeah, which is huge. One, two, three, and get this card. Mm hmm good yeah was, these bridges are keeping me in the game mm-hmm and then we pull all these back we're gonna set up round three and that's it and you got two on your board oh yeah there we go just hoarding all the days so. I know all right three four five straight <laughs> small straight So, all right, you're gonna mm -hmm. you lead us off. Okay. Lead us off. Okay. At least I think I know what I want to do. We're gonna find out. I guess. I guess you're gonna find out. <laughs> all right. Take this. One. I'm just gonna come down here first and take a well action. Oh. Okay. Well. Well. I know. Well. Well, you're gonna get that. That and then. Now I'm gonna get that. Resource that. of your choice. And a resource. Oh, why did I think I was going to get three resources? Uh, I don't know, maybe because there's a picture of three resources on there. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, well, that's weird. That actually might not be what I do then. Oh Where boy. was I? Well. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> um, well, I'm stuck because I need metal. You know? Mm-hmm. With all this money, I can't turn into metal. Mm-mm. You know? Um, is there anywhere else I can get resources on this board? No, that's pretty much it. That's it? All right. Okay. Well, we'll just see. You how also get your lantern out. action because you took the one. I do, yeah, but I'm not gonna get. I get my mother of pearl. Mm -hmm. I get two dollars and I get another bird. Now you have to pay which a diamond. I have to pay a diamo to move up there. You paying it? I guess. I hope I don't need that. Well, <laughs> well the cost Yikes. is, is the cost is not cheap. It's prohibitive. <laughs> it's I know. cost prohibitive to be a 
to be a family at this time, Japan. It really is. It's very cost right. prohibitive. So um, I have to pick a. It's like ah, uh, so lame. It's like not even what I wanted to do. A move here that's not going to cost me too much. Not good. Okay, I'll do it. It's not ideal, but I'm just going to take this five and mm -hmm. put it here. So we okay. haven't taken outside the gate actions yet, yeah. and I'm going to take the. Place a guy. Place a warrior. So I'm going to place my samurai out here. He's mm -hmm. going to cost me five metal, which I have. But I'm going to get in return five coins mm -hmm. and a white cube action. Okay. But a light one, so I can't take the dark ones. I could take, can't take that one. I can take that one mm -hmm. or that one. Mm -hmm. Two victory points and a well action. Yeah, that's probably the best. Two victory points. In the well action because the well action gets mm -hmm. me yeah, a timo and a coin and a resource of my choice which I will take metal or do I want to take mother of pearl again yeah I'll take mother of pearl again mm, I don't so know. much mother of pearl your turn so much mother of pearl yep ay 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 okay I was really trying to scoop that as well. Mm. You still can. I, I can't, though, because I don't have five metal. Oh. That's the problem. Well, that's, so you're <laughs> so, going to need to get some metal. Though. And I am not wasting a whole bunch of turns trying to get metal to go there. So mm. um, I'm going to take this mm -hmm. and go here. So I'm going to pay two to offset that cost. All right. Uh, that's going to get me two Mother of Pearl and a bridge action, gardener action, finally. Oh, okay. So where are you putting them? I'm going to put him right here. So it's going to be four food. So it's going to be four food. And if you and want that to pay, three, pay coins three coins to take another bridge to action. To take another bridge action, which I will do. And I will place him. Oh, now I'm curious. Oh, you have to go here. You only have two oh, food Oh, two. Left. That's where I was going to go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And you're going to get two diamonds for that. Yep. There you go. Thank you. Very good. And yeah, that was it. Unfortunately, yeah, that's all you yeah, can do. Yeah, that was not great. There's one more turn left after this. Yeah, okay. wow. No, I have two. No, that was two placements, wasn't it? That was it? two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, oh, that's your no. second turn. No. Okay, go ahead. It's, a, it's pretty much over for it's you. It's all over. Um, I need, so I need to do a castle action. i got to find the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. So I can do one here with a black die. I can do one here with a white die, a white three. Mm -hmm. So we do have a white three, I can do that. Or a black four, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do it with the black four. I'll spend a three die because I'll pay the cost, but because I'm getting the lantern action, because mm -hmm. I took from the left, I'll actually get my coin back, plus mother of pearl, plus finally moving up on this bird track. Yeah. And do the castle action which will allow me to put a guy in to the castle for two mm -hmm. coins and for mother of pearl i can move a guy up mm. 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 now i could go up here and that mm -hmm. allows me to take any white action yeah on the board mm -hmm. um, plus your lantern plus my lantern that's like huge if i move him up mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty massive actually <laughs> to get him up yeah. here right so i'll use my two mother of pearl to get him up there and i will get to take a lantern action which is mother of pearl another bird and another coin and that's it right yeah for moving up there i just get the lantern action oh and then the the white action any white action mm-hmm Hmm. What do I want? Oh, I don't know. Two birds. I'll probably take two points in the well. Okay. One, two. That's pretty good, yeah. The well is a diamo, a coin, and any resource. And I'll take metal. Okay. Last turn. Last turn. Last action. My last turn. That's your last action here. Great. Right? So great. Um, 
I uh, it's like I would like to take a castle action I would also like to take this action mm. um, but they're sneaky the way they set it up is that when you get bonus actions they're not one of the three main actions it's mm -hmm. usually like just get resources or something yep that's why they have them shaded um, this is why they're shaded in gray um so I can't do a castle there because you went there. I could pay my Dymo and do a castle action here. Mm -hmm. Or I could just come down here and do it. You could. Hmm. Oh, oh, or I could do this. I could do that. Ooh, yikes. What I could do is use my Dymos mm -hmm. to give myself two more. Oh, no, I can't. That's not the trading value, is it? Mm -mm. Right, never mind. So I can do that. Um, because I'd like to, well, I don't have enough rice to do that anyway. All right. It's like I'm pre you want to like prepare yourself though for the bridges to be able to actually do stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And as it stands, when that bridge triggers, I'm not going to have enough like food to actually take advantage of the bonus. Correct. So, like it doesn't really matter. So, I will probably just take this guy here, get a dollar. Get a dollar. Mhm. Mm and do my castle action. Oh, okay. You know? Are you moving or bringing in? Or both? Um, I might do both. Because if I bring a guy in, is this, this isn't uh, counted as part of the castle though for this purpose, is it? What's that? I think you have to to score this. I think you, uh, have, you to have to be, be inside in the, castle? the castle. I think just double check because I forget. Because um, that would change what I decide to do here. Because I think I may just move. Oh, you get one point at the gate. You do get a point at the mm -hmm. gate. Okay. Three for the first floor, six um, for the second. But scoring for the but for, for the fields though, like for the training uh -oh. yard, like the gate. I don't know if the gate counts. Uh, in the training yards, you gain clan points for the yard by multiplying the total value of your warriors in this location by the number of courtiers that you have inside, inside the castle. Inside, right? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Gate. Yeah, because that changes things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because um, what I'd probably do then is when I take this, I would have really liked to do like more stuff. <laughs> <It really sucks. laughs> um, I just don't have enough. And I'm not on the right stuff over there to be able to do it. All right, well, all right, here's two. I'll pay two. I'll bring one of my guys out here. Just stinks, like you wanna just do it again and just like try to do it better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause I just feel like I didn't do it well enough. Um, Cause now what I can do is spend my five mother of pearl to do two movements. Mm -hmm. And I can move two guys. No. I can't move two guys One guy once? twice. See? One guy twice. Oh, it is one guy twice? Mm -hmm. I thought you could split it up. No, who said that? I don't know. Look it up. I I'm like telling you, you right now. Okay. <laughs> Check it. Check the book. <laughs> anything that sounds like cheating is usually <laughs> cheating. Take one of your courtiers uh -huh. and move them up one or two levels. Oh. So no cheating this game. So only one of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So I should just move one guy up twice. That would probably be the best points for you. Yeah. All right. Give me my two bucks back because I'll show you what I'll be able to do now. Here. I'll take that back. So I'll take these guys back. I'll take this guy back. Get back here, you. 
Um, and I'll just pay my five mother of pearl to move him up twice. Mm -hmm. And I will go like one, two, right? Mm -hmm. So you get two points. So I get two points and, and a, well a well action. action which is this a coin and a resource of your choice yeah i still won't be able to do what i want to do but that's okay um one rice mm -hmm. i'm not gonna make it mm -mm. that stinks that really stinks yep all right so i can close i was thinking this. i was gonna get my Thing, but Close gonna... this out. You can also kind of mess yourself up there. You didn't get. You have no dice there, so you don't even get your two dimas. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Game. Yeah, I mean, it may have because I could have used could another have, dimo. You could have traded those in. Yeah. I know. What did I use this guy? Yeah. Yeah. I said, but it would have been a wash because I wouldn't have had enough money at the end to pay for the action. Do you know what I mean? Um. I, I guess well one dimo per coin. It's a pretty cheap exchange. You would have had five dimos. And you would have had Oh that's true. So I'm just So saying. can I take the red instead? I don't know, that's up to you. I have to pay two coins because I did this. Mm hmm I mean we could do that and just see. No, let's not take it back. No, I don't want to go back. People. Yeah, we yeah, already we already it. told them that we weren't gonna do any take yeah, backs. I know. And so Sorry, I don't people. want them. Yeah, it's I don't bad. want them to... Uh, it's like you're just trying to play it over in your head because you're like, no, but that's actually not going to work because then I won't have enough to do this. It's mm -hmm. just so freaking tight, this game. All right. Go uh, ahead. It is. I'm highly unsatisfied with my with my With your play. performance? Yeah. Um, well, I'm just going to go here. Mm -hmm. Make this simple. Trade in a Dymo. I'm going to do a courtier action. I'm going to spend... Spend two of these to give myself another mother of pearl. Okay. And then spend all five of them mm -hmm. to have him go up to here. Okay. And what that's going to do is going to give me another dymo back plus a lantern action, which mm -hmm. will give me a mother of pearl, a bird, and a coin. Yeah. Bring this down. This goes here. This goes here now. And that's it. Okay. So now <sighs> we finished. Yes. So we'll do the river now. So okay. this triggers. I'm going to get two resources of my choice, which really doesn't matter at this point. I'll go one, two. Mm -hmm. uh, Mother of Pearl. This does not trigger. This does trigger. I'm such an idiot. Oh, no. Never mind. Right. Do you have three coins? <laughs> you want to pay to do another river action? What? No, because oh, here's the thing. Oh, I would food. here. I don't have the food. That's oh, that's what you I was do. You can put yours here. Oh, can I? Yeah, because I you can share. Can we... No, you can Are share. You sure about you, that? I'm a hundred percent sure. You just cannot put it where your guy is. Hundred percent really? sure. Hundred. Okay. Hundred. Oh, one hundred percent sure. All right. Well, if you're a hundred percent sure. Yep. Then absolutely, I'll that do is that. That's the rule. And you get two of any resource. Okay. I'll read it to you. Okay. Just so the folks at home can follow along. Okay. In my certainty. Uh huh. Um, that was the well action, right? Or the mm -hmm. gardener action. Yep. Allowed you. So here, here's, here's what it says. Take the gardener from the furthest left in your, in your personal domain and assign it to a garden card that does not already have a gardener from your, oh, from clan. your clan. Okay. In the picture here. Oh, right. Actually, actually has yes. two gardeners. <laughs> Just like that, actually. I'm blowing like one. Yeah. Um, okay. So All we're right. done. All so right, that's cool. it. That That's the last bit of activations. Uh. Um, and now we're going to do the final scoring. So. Score remaining resource. At the end of the third round, after establishing new order of turns, final points are counted up, in addition to points collected during the game. Um, so here we go. For every five coins and or dimo seals you have, you're going to get one point rounded down. Okay. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to get one point. I have five. So you get one point yep. as well. All right. For each resource that you have between three and six units remaining, so it'll be above the, so you get one point mm -hmm. and I get two points. Okay. All right. Score of the passage of time. So I don't get any here. You're going to get three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Uh, clan members. So here we go. In okay. the castle. Each quarter that's in the castle gains points depending on the location they're in. One for the gate. So I get one for the gate. Mm -hmm. uh, three for the first floor. Yep. Nobody. Six per 
Second floor. Yep. So you're going to get 12. Yep. One, two, you got 21, and, and I get... And you got 16. 10 for this guy well, and 6 I, for that. I got 16, yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 24. All right. Yeah. In the training yards, mm -hmm. you gain clan points for the yard by multiplying the total value of your warriors yeah. in this location by the number of quarters you have inside the castle. So he's got one times two, two so it's you can two. get two points. And that's all you have, right? Yep. I've got two times two. Mm -hmm. um, oh, did I get my one for him? You did. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to get four points. Yep. One, two, three, four. And then in the gardens, each gardener that grants your clan as many clan points as is shown on the card they are on. Hmm. So this gives us one point each, one and one. You're gonna get three for this one. And seven for the other, one, so you're gonna be two, three. Mm -hmm. And then, so you're gonna get to 37. And I get seven for this, so put me at 36. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> We're that's one point so away. Close. How crazy is that? Oh my goodness. All right, let's go talk about it, yeah. Well, there you have it. You, right. You've been in the White Castle with us. I know. But there were no burgers or no fries. Burgers. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you got to see all that is the White Castle as far yes. as um, you know, as our demonstration goes. Now, right, right. Granted, full disclosure, we are not experts at this game. We no, are fairly new players not. to it. Yeah. Um, we. Uh, speaking from my received own experience. Received it recently. <laughs> yeah, we received it. Um, we just you know, were able to fit it into our schedule really quickly mm -hmm. and get get some, uh, you know, get a play beforehand and then yeah. get one out ahead of time after reading the rules multiple times. But so hopefully we got everything right for the most part. Yeah, it's kind of light on rules actually. I, I think mean, so. at least from what we understand, um, a very clean, clear rule book to get through. Uh, even having going through it like a couple of times mm -hmm. to just check and double check on things. Um, so yeah, as far as the rules go, very simple and quick to get to the table, yeah. but strategy wise, wow. whoa, like the first time we played this, we kind of, the game ended and we were just like, wow, we got no points. Yeah. We did really bad. Like, it was really bad. We didn't have, I think you might have like two cards. Yeah. We weren't like, really pushing up this track. We also got one of the rules we missed. Whereas with the on the, yeah. on the castle action, when you move your courtesans or court, in there. No, they're not courtesans. Courtiers. They're courtesans. <laughs> <They're not courtesans. laughs> they might be courtesans. I don't know. <laughs> Um, moving them into the castle, like you can do, it's an and or thing. You can right. you can move a guy to the gate, pay your two coins, mm -hmm. and move another character using your mother's right. pearl up the steps, right yes. up to the different levels. Or you could just put a guy in the gate and mm -hmm. call it a day. Or you yeah. could just move a guy up and call it a day. Yeah, you have your choice. Right. But you can't do the action mm -hmm. each action more than once. Right. Yeah. Well, we weren't say, moving our guys up. That yeah, was I would say as far as like strategy wise goes, like when you sit down with this one. Mm. Just make sure that you are doing multiple things on every action that you're taking. Yeah. Like unless you absolutely need something, like if you're only doing one thing, like you're going somewhere and only taking a couple of resources, mm -hmm. like for as good as the well action is, it's, bad. it's actually not great. Like you should be able to get a bunch of stuff like that. It's really only three resources when mm -hmm. you look at it. I screwed up because I was thinking in my head I was going to get three rice and that's not what happened. But you no. should build up like your lantern enough mm -hmm. that that's kind of like your main way to get a bunch of resources, like random stuff. Um, just by passively, by just passively, taking a die. Yeah, like it, and it needs to be passive. So the way the board is set up, you will have opportunities to play a die and get multiple things as you saw us do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, however you do it, just... Make sure that you're doing multiple right. things on a turn. But sometimes you can't. Right? You can't. You just yeah, can't I know. get it to work. You're, you're stuck. Now, yeah. I never took a board action, but just so that people understand, uh -huh. like, say I wanted to take a board action, you mm -hmm. know, I would have taken, say, I had a four, yeah, and I played the four here during my turn. Mm -hmm. You could play onto your board, and you did it a few times. Yeah. You pay the difference, right? So it would have cost me two coins. I would have gotten all that food mm -hmm. plus two coins back. Right. But then you trigger the the far exactly. right action, and yeah. I would have been able to do a castle action yep. just by doing that. So. Yeah. Your player well, that, board becomes powerful. It really does. Later and I, on, like I tried to really get like the guys off of my board, mm -hmm. but in order to do that, you need to take the board act, like the actual board actions, yeah. to get them off. And then, but I feel like it's like at this point in the game, like now that the game's done, I'm like, oh, it would be really cool if I did that. Now your board's and ready. now it's super powerful, and you can't use yeah. it. <laughs> my, I think, like my so, future strategy that yeah. I would share is that I would look to try to rush as many um, gardeners onto the bridge so that they yeah. trigger 
onto the locations that have board actions. Yes. So that every round passively, mm -hmm. as long as there's dice there. Right. And if you you could you can help that by avoiding from drafting from that from that bridge because right. you don't want to you don't want to deplete it because like at the end of the game like the black bridge was empty yep. so I could not take the castle action which mm -hmm. would have won me the game yeah because right. I would have been able to get another courtesan out mm -hmm. or move a courtier up and then move I would have been able to move another one up another step yeah and I that know. would have been huge points for me I know um, but I missed it right yeah. so so that's you want to be able to have those passive actions fire or yeah. at least get you resources between rounds For so sure. that you don't have to yeah. waste a die right. going to the well again. Right. right? It's so bad. Go yeah. Away. It's just crazy. And then I, I feel like there's a whole nother inherent strategy where you could just really try to push up like this passage of time track. Because mm -hmm. like your points really start to multiply exponentially up here. Yeah. Um, I, I wanted to try this game to get more of my like warriors out because mm -hmm. I wanted to try and get those multipliers. That was kind of what I was going for. Mm. But then I actually ended up doing like more bridge stuff, which I don't know. I might have distracted myself. I'm not sure. <laughs> Who <laughs> well, knows? That's the thing. You, There's too many ways to score points there's here. There's so many ways to score. And you really, it is one of those games that plays so fast. You just have to like do what you can with what you have in the moment yeah and your plan might change there's not enough time to plan long term oh, this game. Yeah. it's so fast and i i just i i really appreciate the fact that it ends when it does because yeah yeah there's a lot of euros out there mm -hmm. that go a round or two too yeah. long where you the last round is just all math because you're mm -hmm. like i've got an action that triggers an action that triggers another action that triggers right. and then you're trying to get all that out and you're mm -hmm. just like it's just, yeah. it's too far ahead. I don't want to think nine moves ahead, right. right? This isn't chess. Yeah. So where it ends is great because it just starts to get really complex. Yeah. And then it's like, you're done. So uh -huh. if you haven't done it by now, yeah. then you're done. Exactly. So that to me sells this game. Yeah. I'm, I am so beyond, like my expectations were completely blown away with this one. I'll mm -hmm. be honest with you. Yeah. Um, we liked Red Cathedral. It was fun, mm -hmm. and I know it's a really popular one too. A lot of people like that game. Yeah, we like we it. We really, really did like that one. Um, also, by Devere, in the same kind of like genre, you have like Bamboo, yeah, which we also really loved. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the fact that they took that you know Bitoku and like crunched it down into this really crunchy, this sort of level experience. Yeah, the smaller box. But I still feel like this was easier to get to the table, like mm -hmm. easier to understand. And we've said this, I think the last few reviews that we've done, that just for us where we're at right now, or at least for me personally, mm -hmm. games that we can get to the table quickly, but still have that crunchy, thinky experience mm. in less than an hour with two people yeah. is really where it hits the mark for us. Yeah. Um, and this because series, that's kind of what we have time for. <laughs> this, this series does it. And this series definitely does it. Yeah, yeah. I was um, I was expecting this to be a lot lighter than it was. Yep. Um, and I was I was definitely not expecting the volume of puzzle and being able to get into it and not ma feel like I'm. Oh, okay. I see them. I see the maze. I see how you get out of here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I was really impressed with this. Right. Movie. Yeah. And it's going to change every time based is, on the cards yeah. that are out. In the well, setup, the cards that are on the river here, the, the little tokens and the tokens, out, yeah, right? like the die tokens, they yeah. they're that that's a hundred percent random, so that's all coming out. Mm -hmm. um, there's only a few rules in that you can't have like three of the same color on one location because yeah, right. that would be ridiculous. But yeah, um, but again, like that changes the way the whole mm -hmm. game. The rewards on the battlefield those change, or, right. or the training camps rather. Yeah. Like there's a lot of variety here. Plus, it's also got a whole solo variant. That's yeah, built in, I like know. you know, it's it's which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's like the Takugawa clans visit solitaire right. mode. Like there's a whole theme and story behind it, and a right. whole deck of cards that that supports that mode. So it's like wow, like if you can get this into um, you know even a solo player's hands who can who can play this puzzle mm -hmm. in like 40 minutes like, yeah pretty... in a small footprint too. Yeah. I think that's this important. Is, this fits really well on the screen, like zoomed yeah. in, like. We're pretty close. We're oh, pretty yeah. tight. And like I've been struggling to get a lot of the the uh, the boards on the screen right. to fit everything. Yeah. And this one like was really nice, really compact. Yeah, definitely like, like kitchen table size. Yeah, this so this one <laughs> this one hits it on all cylinders, I yeah. think, for us. Yep. Like really, really uh, I, I couldn't recommend this one more. Yeah, really, really happy with Yeah, if this. you're fans of our channel, this is one you probably should have. Yep. If you know uh, what we like and you like what we like, okay. this is one you want to get. Yeah, I like the way yeah. that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
this should be available soon, right? Yeah, soon-ish, I guess. Um, I know, I don't know if it was an S, if it is an Esserin release or what's happening. I know um, Embargo lifts on the 25th, which is when you should be seeing this video. Yep. So um, look out for it at your store. Um, and if there's any information we can give you on where to get it, um, we'll put that in the description below too. Sounds good. Thanks for okay. watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. We'll see ya.